Today we're taking a look at the solar um, panel charger here. I've tried a few of these before. A um, couple of great things about these with um, cord cutters and really anyone. Uh, if you love camping, having a solar power charger is great. Even if you don't want to be using a lot of electronics, whenever I go camping, it always seems to rain. Having these solar chargers and others is a great way to make sure, even when you're kind of boondocking it, when it's raining, your tablets, or whatever you want to use to distract the kids works. Number two, I live in hurricane and tornado country. So making sure I have power in case of severe weather is an important part. Comes with extra solar panel, comes with one micro USB charger cable. Uh, but let's actually take a look at the device. Now there's a little, a little magnet clip right there. Does a nice job. Um, it's a three panel. The camera may struggle a little bit to focus on the fact that this is black and this is white. It's gonna struggle a little bit on focus today. Um, so a three panel charger, um, five volt out max. Let's take quickly, take a look here. Five uh, volt DC, four, um, 2.4 amp max per port. There's two ports, you can charge two devices on this at the same time. Um, yeah, 16.9 ounces and 29 inches by 10 inches. So 29 by 10. Um, just having it in this light right here is enough to trigger the charging. Um, you can't really see it, but the light on here is being triggered and will charge. Uh, now when you look at the box, it says power bank. This does not have a battery on it. Uh, some type of translation issue there um, between the Chinese and Americans. Uh, but it works great. You can use an Anacur battery or many others. I'll link to one that I recommend in the show notes if you're looking for a battery to chart to have this charge to. Does um, on the back here you got a very nice zip up area. You can throw a couple cords in there, whatever else you may want. It's got some instructions on it right there. Um, it seems to do a very good job of pickup power converting it. So there we go. So you can see full one, a little strap there if you want to strap in cables, and then two. Um, ports. You see the lights on right there? That means it's right at charge. If I were to see now it's off, now it's on. So just these um, studio lights is given enough power to charge a device. Um, overall, it's nice. It has one clip where some of them have multiple of these clips, um, but it's got these hooks. It's got three hooks aside. On it, if you want to put some carabiners or whatever you want to do to hang that, if you want to hang this on a tree. It's supposed to be fairly um, weatherproof. Um, the Facebook, or excuse me, the Amazon ad said, yeah, right here. Even though this is battery pack, there is no battery inside this junction box right there. Even though the um, box is bank, power bank. Um, so the Facebook. Um, excuse me, Amazon, I don't know why I'm saying Facebook ad, does say that this is um, supposed to be resistant to water. Wouldn't recommend soaking it, wouldn't recommend, it, recommend leaving it in the rain. I mean, when it's raining, it's probably not gonna do a good job with power charge with all the clouds. But a little bit of um, drizzle or whatever is um, not designed to harm this. At least that's what they say. So overall though, my testing, I played around with this already, test it out, does charge my Pixel XL phone, does do a good job on it, does seem to do a good job on a direct sunlight charging multiple devices at once. Um, so I'm gonna give those two thumbs up. Um, it works, it does what it says it's gonna do, and it seems to be very well built. The fabric seems to be very thick. It's a nice plastic cover over these. I feel like this will survive some general light abuse. Uh, I'm gonna keep this as a nice little a uh, way to have backup power, whether I get a hurricane or tornado, a power outage, I'm camping or whatever. Um, I like the idea that this it can be stored here um, and always rely on being able to get power. So two thumbs up, questions, comments, let me know. Please subscribe. Hopefully we can help you get the most out of your core cutting experience.